Hey YouTube, so one of my first videos I disassembled a home light Ranger that had a scored piston and I think the uh, chain brake on it was also faulty. So I went ahead and just disassembled the entire thing and put parts to the side. Uh, the, the piston was scored, the cylinder has some score marks on it, and it was pretty much just useless. It was trash. So I decided rather than throw that away, I would go ahead and make a little cutaway saw out of this thing, a uh, cutaway uh, piston um, assembly out of this thing. And I've always kind of seen these YouTube videos where I see guys using these things and I thought, oh, these are really cool. So if you want to see how I did that and see what the end result looks like, go ahead and stay tuned. So here I am a few months ago taking this Homolite Ranger apart. I'm taking the four bolts out here and that's going to allow me to get the entire engine block loose. It looks like I keep it together in this one, but after that you just pull the two halves of the cylinder apart and the piston and the cylinder come right apart. Okay, so at this point obviously I have removed the piston and the crank and all those different things from the cylinder. I have bolted back together the cylinder base. Uh, the cylinder pan, whatever you want to call it, and fixtured it in this bandsaw. So I extended the aluminum out a little bit right there just so it had something to grip onto. There's not a whole lot to grip onto in this case, but it actually worked out pretty well. Uh, this is a pretty large bandsaw. There's coolant running on it right now, and everything went perfectly fine. As you'll see here, I'm going to go ahead and speed up the cut a little bit until it goes through it. So what I'm going to do is cut this thing approximately in one third and leave the other half and or the other part in two thirds and the reason for this is i want the piston to be able to ride inside of that cylinder and not fall out of it so if you cut it right in half dead center in half you'd run the risk that the piston would go up and down sure but it could just slide it right in and out so if you're going to do this you want one side to be higher than the other side larger than the other side and you'll see that in a minute when i pull it out of the saw all right so this thing's cut through now, obviously, if you're wondering what it looked like in the beginning, I didn't take a video of that or anything, but here's what it was. I bolted this bottom cover right here up to the cylinder and held it in there and just chopped it off. And if you see what I mean right here by leaving one side thicker than the other, that's what I mean by that. So this is pretty shallow in comparison to this. And the reason being is that this still has enough of a radius on it to hold that piston up inside of there. Now for my cutaway, I don't really need this half of it. I did want to keep this half, of course, and keep it nice just for demonstration purposes in the future if I need that. But right here, you can see this is uh, the one side of it. This is where the worm gear would have been. And here's the second half that I want to focus on. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this apart. All right, now we're left with this little piece and this piece. So now what we've got here is the crank assembly. And if you recall the first video, I will put a link in the description of that if you want to see where this came from. But this, again, came out of a home light. And uh, it was pretty badly scored. It's not worth saving this. Even the this right here is the uh, intake side. Had some scoring on it. This is the, out, or the uh, muffler side, the exhaust port. That had pretty bad scoring on it. But the rest of this was in pretty good shape here. And what we've basically got is the entire assembly. I did take the worm gear off of here. There's no reason to leave that on. So we've got the entire crank assembly with the seals, the bearings, everything. So what we're going to do here is figure out the alignment of this thing. And this right here, I scratched on it. And uh, I could not find, I didn't go too detailed, but I couldn't find any uh, arrow pointing to the exhaust side. That's where the arrow should point. So uh, the exhaust side is right here, and I know from this that the bad scoring was on this side. So I need to align that with this exhaust port. So I'm just going to go ahead and... Oh, the piston ring that was on here is not going to be able to go up inside, up and down inside this thing. It will get caught on this. If you were to make this a little bit more round, it might work. But uh, most of the ones I see of these, they do remove the ring. So anyways exhaust side and this is just going to slip right up in there there's no ring to get in place or anything like that 
And there we go. That's what it needs to look like. And I'm just going to go ahead and put this on. Now, I did remove most of the gasket from around here. So my clearance up here is going to be a little bit closer to the top than I like. But I think it's going to work just fine. If I need to adjust that, I can put a gasket in there. So, here go these two bolts. I'm just going to go ahead and bolt this thing up. Just lock it into place right there. And we should be able to see this thing going right now. And there it is. Really cool. It works great. It looks great. I'm super happy with it. We're going to go ahead and take it a step further. Okay, so we're not going to stop here even though this is pretty cool. Um, I did save the parts for this saw. I'm glad I did now. So I'm going to go ahead and hook this up. This is the carb spacer. whatever it's called. Oh. So it's going to be a little more complicated because I don't have... There we go. Let's try to keep that right. Yeah. I'll just hold those together, I guess. Just try to get this nice and tight on here since I only have one screw to work with. Okay, that's just going to fall out of there. All right. All right, now it's not going to fall out of there. I can get this bolt in. Come on. I'll have to go extra tight with this one because there's not... The second bolt is obviously missing. I cut it off. I'll just try to get this kind of level. It'll probably still move a little bit. That's not too bad. So, let's see if I can get the carburetor on here by maybe holding that up. There we go. Oh, wait. Here. Tape under there. There we go. All right, now I'm going to get the carb on there. This is not the OEM carb. But it's still got an exact fit, same brand. I just don't want to use the OEM one. And this is not going to be a perfect fit with this case right here or anything like that, but whatever. You guys get the point. I just want to be able to say, hey, this is where the carburetor is, and people understand that. I have a good visual reference here. I'm going to get these bolts, these nuts on here. Okay. The only reason I actually put this spacer on is if I didn't do that, this thing wasn't going to fit with this. I didn't really want to use the spacer for this, but it is what it is. Okay, and that bolt down there has become... Got to spin this thing around, and there it goes. Now it's longer. Now I'm locked in. Okay, there we go. And did somebody call for a 10 millimeter? Here it is. Okay. Tighten these down a little bit. That's it. Our carb is on there. So now we've got this. And really starting to look pretty freaking cool right here. I like it. All right. Moving right along to... The muffler. Again, I saved muffler. So, 
one bolt goes here, one bolt goes here. Uh, one bolt would have gone here, but of course that's cut off. But we're going to go ahead and do two. So I got those on there. And let's see here. Right. Tighten those down. And now here we go. We've got ourselves a little engine right here. And I'll go ahead and finish it off with a spark plug. The one thing I want to make sure of when I do this, yeah, this is going to be okay. just want to make sure that since I deleted this uh, gasket, basically, I want to make sure that I wasn't going to bang on that spark plug or anything, but it's not. So, guys, there's what we're looking at. I'm pretty happy with this. Okay, so now uh, my idea is just to go ahead and use these two bolt holes back here, take some wood that I have laying around and build a little stand for this thing, and we'll go ahead and do that right now and see what it looks like.
And as you can see, what we have here is your piston, your crank, your, your bearing, of course your cylinder, spark plug, your carburetor, and your muffler. And here's what it looks like when it's running at very, very slow speed. I'm pretty psyched to have this. Um, definitely going to be using this in some more videos as an instructional thing for both you guys and for myself. This thing's just really cool to look at and see how an engine operates on the inside. And uh, super happy I made it. You can also hook a drill to this thing and really get it running. So I'm actually going to put it up to like about 1200 RPMs here. I'm going to start off slow. Pretty cool. Guys, I hope you liked that video. I hope that was cool. Um, I thought it was super cool. Super, super happy to have made that thing. Um, if you want to see some videos in the future with this kind of stuff in it, this thing using this as a demo and stuff like that, other engine related videos. Go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Thanks and stay safe.